My name is Joe Palladino. I'm a palliative care physician with the Serious Illness Care Program at Ariadne Labs. We developed an inpatient conversation guide for conversations between clinicians and patients with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 infection in the hospital setting. This conversation guide supports clinicians in having conversations with patients about their values and preferences. This can inform decisions about life-sustaining treatments and ensure the highest quality care. In this short video, we demonstrate use of the inpatient conversation guide. The discussion occurs between a patient and hospitalist, Dr. Namatha Seth Motha, using virtual technologies. We also briefly describe the toolkit and other resources available. Ms. Carol Webb is a 69-year-old retired teacher who lives with her husband. She has moderate chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, insulin-dependent diabetes, and controlled hypertension. She is hospitalized with COVID-19. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. My name is Dr. Mota. We Hi. had a chance to meet uh, last night. I was one of the many doctors that you met that was wearing gowns and gloves and a mask uh, and a shield. Uh, and I had uh, mentioned that we were going to have a video conference this morning. Uh, I'm here in my office, just down the, down the hall here in the hospital. Uh, and this, at the very least, allows us to have a, uh, a more open face-to-face -face conversation. It's good to see your face. <laughs> this is a uh, scary and difficult time with the coronavirus. Yes. I'm hoping that we can talk about the upcoming hours and days and what's important to you so that we can provide you with the best care. Is that okay? Absolutely. Is there anyone that you would want to have us join to have join us uh, today, either by phone or, or video? Um, yeah, my my sister. But okay. why don't we talk first, and and then I can wind her into this. Okay. I am going to be using a conversation guide, so you might see me looking down, uh, and that's just so that I don't miss anything. Uh, is that okay? What about your health are you most worried about right now? I'm getting worse. Uh, I mean, it, I mean, you hear that people die from this. I, I don't want to go there, but it's a worry. Thank you for, uh, for sharing that worry with me. Can I share some information with you about how this illness might affect you? Sure. Many people will recover from this infection and we will do everything we can to help you recover. As you've probably heard, some people get so sick that they do not survive. Because of your COPD, your high blood pressure, the, the diabetes, if you get really sick, I worry that the treatments that we can use to try to help people get better, like breathing machines or CPR, are not likely to work or to get you back to the quality of life that you had before. But I was, I thought I was doing okay before. This must be so hard to hear. Yeah. What is most important for your loved ones and medical team to know if you were to get very sick? That I love them. Tell me more. that I don't want to be a burden on them. What abilities are so important to your life that you can't imagine living without them? Not being able to have a real conversation with someone, that, you know, to be able to speak with thoughts and or theirs. 
some people are willing to go through a lot, including being on machines for many weeks, even if there was only a small chance that this could help them survive. Others avoid these treatments uh, to focus primarily on comfort, especially if the medical team thought that the treatments wouldn't work or would leave someone unable to do the things that they're important to, that are important to them. How do you think about this? Well, last year I was in the hospital with COPD and they put me on machines and mm -hmm. it was hard, but they got me through it. So I think I'd like to try that again. If you couldn't speak for yourself, who do you trust to make medical decisions for you? Oh, my sister. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say my husband, but I think my sister probably would know more. Okay. Uh, and how much does your sister know about what is important to you? We haven't really talked about it. We want to keep things positive. Mm -hmm. This can be hard to talk about, and I really appreciate you sharing this information with me. I heard you say that being able to communicate, having a dialogue, uh, hear and speak with others is really important to you. And given what you told me and what we know about your current health, I would recommend that we use intensive care if necessary. Uh, including CPR or breathing machines. If something changes to make us worry that these treatments are not likely to work, then we will tell you or your sister. Uh, is that okay? That sounds right. We can revisit this at any time uh, and we will do everything that we can to help you and your family get through this. Thank you. I will keep in touch with your nurse uh, throughout the day today, Carol. And if you need anything, I'll be right there. Uh, otherwise, I'll plan on seeing you again tomorrow. It'll be good to see you. You take care, Carol. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, you too. The Serious Illness Care Program's COVID-19 Response Toolkit contains the following materials to support you in having these conversations in your practice the inpatient conversation guide and a one-pager with additional context and description for the guide, as well as the video demonstration you just saw, an outpatient conversation guide and a one-pager with additional context and description and an accompanying video demonstration, a tip sheet on telehealth communication, a recommendation aid, a care planning tool that you can complete with site-specific resources, and a patient resource developed in collaboration with the Conversation Project called Being Prepared in the Time of COVID-19. Additional resources are in development, including a communication tool for organizations in crisis standards of care. These websites take you to COVID-19 resources for the Serious Illness Care Program at Ariadne Labs, Vital Talk, and the Center to Advance Palliative Care. This is a difficult and uncertain time. You are in our thoughts, and we hope you and your loved ones stay safe and well.